Residents in the northern part of the city's Millville section are opposed to low-income apartment complexes being built in their neighborhood. Part of their concern stems from what they say is a city commission who is not taking their opposition seriously. That the city members of our council chose their outsider to come in and not listening to us who are taxpayers that we may be able to have a full voice letting the world know that we desire to have something of value within our community. The group proposing bringing the apartment complex to this piece of land near the intersection of 10th Court and Sherman is the Paces Foundation, a nonprofit group that helps build low-income housing. They have received a $12 million state grant to help construct the project, and they said they are tied to this location as a stipulation of that award. The residents say they would rather have single-family homes in the area as opposed to the larger complex. Uh, it's not that we are against affordable housing, which may have been said. It's just the type of affordable housing that they're bringing into the area uh, that doesn't fit in the community. Residents said that low-income apartment complexes are often magnets for crime and drug use. They point to an area known as a blue spot. Only a few blocks away from the proposed construction site, they say it is an area where crime is a frequent occurrence. Two grandchildren, one 11 years old and one 5 years old, and they're at my house all the time and they can't go outside and play as it is because mm. of the people from Blue Spot, Blue Spot mm. walking up and down the road going to the store down here. And every morning, like this gentleman said, I have to get up and pick paper up out the yard every morning and all during the day where they come from down here and throw the debris and all. And even my 11-year-old said, Grandmama, I don't, she wanted to go to one of the meetings and be there with me. She said, I don't want you to be in this type of living situation.